Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Extensions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL trigger story for beginners. This is our part 5. Inside this video session guys, we are going to see PHP MyAdmin manual tool to create our triggers. In the last two videos, like in part 3 and part 4, we had seen about the con complete syntax declaration of our trigger as well as we had seen about three examples of creating trigger. Now let's say that this time we are going to use inbuilt behavior of phpMyAdmin to create our triggers. So back to browser. Now here, right now I am inside a database called MySQL triggers. So how can we find about the triggers tool to create that? So if we move to our more option, now inside this more option, as we can see we have an option called triggers. Just click on that. Now right here, this basically listed all the triggers what we have created inside this database. Let's say that I am to drop all these triggers from this list. Click on drop and go here. Successfully we have dropped all the created triggers. Now here as we can see that inside the new section we have a link called add trigger. So click on this link. Now this will open a pop-up. Inside this, we need to fill some information to create our trigger. So let's say that we want that before update, we want to take history or log of updated user. So inside this trigger name, firstly, what basically the naming convention we had learned is that we need to write our activation time. So this should be let's say before and the table we have called users and we want on the update operation. Now this is our table listing. Now we want to perform on the users table. On the users table, if we update any information, we want to take log inside this users logs table. So it should be before and here the event something called update here. All the body we have to define inside this definition section. So let's say insert into this is users logs table the same body we have to repeat inside this definition section this is name email phone status here we have to write values and inside here we have to save or track the old values so old dot name old dot email old dot phone and this is old dot status all we have done now now inside this definer we have to pass root at the rate localhost this is username and this is our server now if I press go button or before that if I make copy of these lines pasting into a new tab now let me check about the query so insert into table here are the columns and the values and here we are getting the old values of users table so this should be perfect now click on go button successfully we have created our trigger call before users update now let's say that if I open users tab into a new tab let's update some information inside this table so click on edit and let's say that if I write something like this instead of 1 2 and let's say that this should be the number if I press go button successfully we have updated the information of this fifth number ID again go into this tab and open users log inside a new tab and open the table something and inside this table uh, this is users log table and as we can see that the eighth number ID is the old value what actually we have updated right here in a bit second. Now let's say that we are going to update one more row inside this users table. So if I click on edit and let's say that if something like that and this is something like that and this is something like this. So if I press go button again back to our users log table reload this page ignore all and as we can see that one more row has been inserted inside our users log table which basically contain the old values what we have updated let's create one more trigger inside this database so click on database go to more triggers 
now if I click on this add trigger and this time we want to insert let's say after users and let's say insert the name indicates that we want to fire our trigger after insert this will be happen inside users table it should be after and insert is here is ok so let's say insert into new users id table and the column we have if i open our table so let's open to a new tab and go to structure so this is the column name so copy that and pasting it here now inside these values we want a new created id so new dot id semicolon and the root username and the local host as the host name if i press go button successfully we have created that so if we insert any row inside users table then it automatically get the created id and insert inside this new users id table now let's insert some row inside the users table so if i open here and this is users table click on insert and let's say that i'm going to insert new data and here is the mobile number something dummy value press go button now we have successfully inserted our row inside this users table so if you go to the listing the user id 6 we have created now back to our new users id table now if i click on browse ignore all and as we can see that the new user created has id of 6 so this is all about the manual tool to create our triggers inside our phmyadmin so inside this video session guys we have seen all about our manual tool actually given by a phmyadmin to create triggers so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day